Hi you guys, so today I am going to be doing my first makeup haul video and I cannot wait. I mean, I seriously cannot wait to show you some of the things that I bought. And um, I basically have been saving these items for like a month now. And I had plans of buying some other stuff too before I actually made this video. But, you know, I just really, really want to go ahead and just get my hands on these babies and just, you know, apply them all over my face and get to try them. And, um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and make this video so I can open these things and actually get to try them while showing you guys. Okay, let me show you guys. It's the... The Nivea Man Post Shape Balm. And let me just go ahead and say that I never even would have thought of adding this to my makeup routine whatsoever. But um, my friend, you know, wanted to do my makeup one day. And I saw her using this on me. And I was like, you know, why are you using this on my face? Like, you know, this is for men. You know, this is... And, um, yeah, she was telling me how she saw on Nikki Tutorials that um, she uses this, you know, to make her makeup last longer. <clears throat> And um, I actually went on YouTube and saw her video, and she was saying something about it having glycine is what helps it, you know, helps your makeup stay on. So next thing that I want to show you guys, I bought at Walmart as well, and this was another product that my friend was using for my makeup, and she used this to bake, you know, my under eye concealer. And this was the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and I bought, I bought it in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. And um, I haven't used this at all because um, I didn't want to open it, you know, and then have like a whole bunch of powder just you know start flying everywhere so i haven't opened it um it doesn't smell bad it, feel, it smells i don't even know what it smells like powdery does powder i don't know does powder smell like powder I don't, okay anyways you know when you open it it has a, a a puff on the inside if you guys can see and um this is how it looks like on the inside i don't know if you can see but i basically haven't opened it and then um i have the next brand i want to show you guys i bought at walmart and it's um milani i bought three eyeshadows and let me just tell you these shadows were on sale for two dollars and this is the close-up as you can see i haven't even opened them at all first one i opened is the is the color bella, bella cafe um the number is four and uh, this is the first time i'm actually trying it out at least this color anyways and um let me just apply some on my finger and i don't know if you guys can see but that's the color, and then I'm just going to apply this on my skin, and then hopefully you guys can see it better. So that's the color right there. I have this other, I want to show you guys this other color. Let me go ahead and open it. And um, this is the color um, Bella Espresso, and this is the number six. And um, let me go ahead and open it. And um, so I just wanted to get like a dark brown shadow because I have seen like, like brown smoky eyes. And hopefully this color is dark enough for that. And if I can do like a, a tutorial on it, it would be nice. And here's the color up close. And it looks very brown. And it has like some shimmer to it. I know it said it was matte on the packet. But um, yeah, so let me just go ahead and put this on my skin. And that is very pigmented. That's that one. So this one is the number four and Bella Cafe. And this one is the number six and Bella Espresso. So that's, that's a pretty, you know pretty dark brown color so i can't wait to try that on and now i'm gonna open the bella gold and this is the color 22 so that way you guys can see it up close that's the bella gold in 22 and um okay this one didn't have a plastic over it either so i don't know why the other one had plastic but <clears throat> anyways i have been looking or trying to see if i could find like a pretty gold color i want like a gold color that that looks like real gold you know because some of these gold colors have like a like a orangey tone to it but i just want one that looks gold and this looks like a pretty color you guys look at this look at that i don't know if you guys can see it. and this one is said on the packet that it was metallic but you know i'm looking at it and it looks very pretty i cannot wait to try this on and then hopefully i can do like a tutorial on it and oh my goodness you guys look how it went on my skin hold on let me see if i can get a close up to it i don't know if you guys can see it because it's kind of bright up in here but look. can you guys see it uh, probably not but it's, it's a pretty color and then I bought a baked blush by Milani, and this was on discount as well. It, I think it was like three fifty. I bought this at Walmart, and this is the number eight and Coralina. Coralina. Okay, that's the color, and it's supposed to be baked. And um, when I picked it up at Walmart, you know, I the way I like my blushes, I like them matte. I don't like them shimmery at all. And I was kind of debating on whether or not to get this or not, but um. Yeah, if you look at it, this is how it looks on the inside, and I don't know, you, you guys can probably see the sparkles in it. It's very sparkly. 
as you guys can see. So, you know, you know, I bought it anyways. But um, hopefully I like it. And so this is the color up close, and it's very sparkly. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I don't know if you guys can see the color well. But um, I'll try it out and let you guys know what I think about it. And then also it has like another compartment. You can kind of open it that way, and it has a mirror to it, and it has a small brush as well. Next thing that I bought is the the Wet and Wild contouring palette, and my friend was telling me, you know, to buy it. This is in the color Caramel Toffee. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's in the color Caramel Toffee, and she was telling me how a lot of people really liked it, and I haven't opened it yet, so let me go ahead and open it so I can swatch it and show you guys. But I'm hoping to like it. Um, I don't really have a lot of contouring shades, and um, I have a, a BH Cosmetics pad back. It kind of tells you how to how to contour right there. All right, so that's it open. Glitter or shiny. Okay. All right. So let me let me huh, let me grab a little bit of both. And as I'm swirling my fingers up in there, I did notice that it feels very smooth. So I like that. And hold on, let me tell you how much it was. It was, <clears throat> this is the highlight, and then that is the contour right there. <clears throat> and I'm just going to swatch this on my arm. Like that. Okay, so that's the, the highlighting shade, and then that's the, the contour shade. And it went out. It went on pretty smoothly, so I cannot wait to try that out. Okay, so I hope I like it, and then... The next thing that I bought, I bought this at Target. I bought these things at Target. The first thing that I bought is $3. And this item I have already had before. And it's the, the Makeup Mist and Setting Spray by e.l.f. And like I said, it was $3. And I really like it. I really, I use this, I don't, I don't use this for, you know, I don't use this to set my makeup. I use it more to, I use it more for my eyeshadow when the color is not as vibrant as I want it. I'll spray this onto my eyeshadow and then, you know, I'll just pack it onto my eyelid and, you know, the color is much more beautiful, much more vibrant. And that's what I use this for. And um, this is actually by a brand that I've never even seen at Target before. I don't know how long it's been on display, but um, I don't know if I never even paid attention to the names or how new it is or, or you know, what the deal is. But the thing is, um, I bought it. I bought like three things from this brand and the brand is Essence. And um, yeah, the, the prices are pretty affordable. And I picked up the one by Essence. And this is, here it is. And then we open it, you know, here's the tip. I don't know if you can see that. But um, yeah, I was looking for an eyeliner. This eyeliner was, this is the color, the number one. And in the color Black Fever. I don't know if you guys can, can see that right probably not but anyways the color is black fever and this is how it went on right there and it went on very smoothly the next thing that i bought was um a liquid eyeliner this one by essence i actually bought this today and um it wasn't there last time i went to target but i'm so glad i found it and it's the essence super fine eyeliner pen and this is in the color i don't even know if it has a color to it color deep deep black okay but the reason why i got this was because i saw the tip and I knew I definitely had to get it. Like, look how fine this tip is. Look at it. And um, they had, like, another one by Essence. And that one was, like, kind of thick. And I have, like, super small eyelids. And, you know, I thought this would be great for my small eyes. And I can't wait to try this out. And I bought the next thing. The next thing I bought was um, this highlighter right here. It's by Essence as well. And it's in the color Bright Up Your Life. And, the and I can't wait to try it. It's, like, a pink color. And it's a highlighter. It says it's cream to powder. I don't know if you guys can see that. And um, I don't really have, I, I really don't own any highlighters because my face is oily. And um, my face is already oily. And I feel like if I use a highlighter, it'll make it even oilier. So, but you know, I'm excited to try this. So let me just swatch this. And, and okay, I just realized that is my middle finger. But, um, you know, anyways, this is the color. And you probably, I feel like in the camera it looks kind of white, a glittery white. But you know, it's pink, it's pink. But um, let me just swatch this somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there. No, you can't see it. So I'm going to try to make it show up and then um, I'll post it in the video. The next thing I bought at Target um, is a blush. And I have been looking for, you know, a nice blush. And I bought this one from Wet n Wild. I bought this at Target for $2.99. And this is in the color Mellow Wine. It's on the top. 
I don't know if you guys can see, Mellow Wine. And I cannot wait to try this out as well. Okay, you guys. So, this let me show you this blush. Okay. So, it comes with a small brush. As you can see, it's still in the plastic. I haven't taken it out. And this is the color, Mellow Wine. And let me just swatch it. And it feels smooth as well. Kind of like the, like the Camel Toffee Contour Duo. That's the color. And that's not a bad color. I feel like it would match, you know, my skin tone. So, let me just swatch it here. And I don't know if you guys can see. Just right there. That's the color. And I can't wait to put these, put this on cheek. And hopefully, I like it as well. And it can be, you know, my next favorite blush. And then the next two things that I want to show you. I actually bought these at, um, I bought these on the Wish app. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. But it's basically this app where you can buy, like, super cheap stuff. There are some things that come out. They kind of seem too good to be true. And I have seen some reviews, like, some of their clothes is kind of, you know, um, not what they look like on pictures and stuff. But, um, <clears throat> I bought a few things. Well, two things, actually. And I wanted to, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but, um, I feel like these were kind of, like, a popular thing on the internet. And it's these, um, I don't, I don't even know what you call these. Like, these lip devices that, um, they claim that they will give you, like, big Kylie Jenner lips. And, um, yeah, it came, I bought... It came with all three, all three sizes. I think it has it had like a small, medium, and a large, a round, or whatnot. Because these two are kind of like oval shape, and then this one's more round. But basically, you're supposed to, you know, put them to your lips like like this, and then you suck on them for like 15 seconds. I don't know how long. For let me show you, like this. And you're supposed to, you're supposed to leave them on for however long you can. I guess the longer you leave them on your lips, I guess the bigger the lips. And um, I haven't tried these out yet, so I will soon. But I just really wanted to show you guys and because I thought they were interesting. And I will say they're kind of, they're hard. You see this? They're not soft whatsoever. But I'm um, saying I bought from the Wish app. And um, I always thought it was very cute. I saw this several times up there. And I thought it would be cute. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I got this in the mail last week. It's a shirt. I know it's not makeup, but I still wanted to show you guys. So it's basically, I don't know if you guys have seen it on the internet or not. But it's basically this t-shirt of a cat. Hold on. Okay, so it's basically a t-shirt with this cat, right? You see it? Okay, so basically, you know, when you bring the pocket down, you know, the cat has, like, two middle fingers sticking out, right? And I thought it was very cute, you know? Like, if somebody pissed you off or something, you know, you'd be like, come in. And you'd be like, whoosh! You know, and just kind of pop it out with black. And I thought it would be, you know, kind of cute. But, okay, so as I was saying, that's the only thing I don't like about this shirt is that, is that you can see the fingers, so it's not even a surprise anymore. So if it would have been, you know, a little bit higher up like that, would have been nice, but... It is what it is, and it was only seven dollars. So I mean, so now for the last few things that I bought, I, I bought these today at um, Walmart, and <clears throat> it was quite an experience. Let me tell you, I was looking at some makeup, right? And I was getting, I was gonna check out. So I really wasn't sure about a foundation that I was gonna get. I felt like it was kind of light for my skin tone, but the next shade up, I felt like it was kind of dark for my skin tone. Long story short, um, I was, I went to a mirror to try to see if the tone, you know, I put the foundation close to my face to see if the tone, the, the shade, the foundation shade would, um, fit my skin tone, and, like, that shade just, I don't even know what happened, that thing slid out of my fingers, I don't, but anyways, the foundation fell, fell on the floor, the glass did not break or anything, but somehow the top fell off, and, like, the foundation splattered on the floor, and, you know, it fell on my foot, it got on my pants, and it was just terrible, right, so, I didn't know what to do, you know, because some of it, some of it had, had gotten on the floor, and I didn't want to just leave it there for someone, you know, to pass by and kind of fall or slip or anything. So, um, I looked for a, a, um, a Walmart person there that could, you know, um, get someone to clean it up, to tell maintenance, so you know, that I spilled something, and, um, you know, put a sign and whatnot on it. And <clears throat> I found this lady at the fitting rooms, right? And let me just tell you, had I known that she would have reacted the way that she would have reacted, you know, I would have just walked away and acted like nothing happened. But, you know, I try to be a mature person and tell her, you know, I told her, I was like, you know, hey, you know, um, I spilled my, um, a foundation on the floor, you know, in the clothing section. And, you know, anyways, um, yeah, I told her. And next thing you know, she gets up and she starts rolling her eye. Like, you guys know that, um, that emoji with the, with the, with this eye looking out like this, like, you know, it's rolling his eye. That, that's nothing compared to what this lady did with her fucking eyes. Like, I swear to you, this lady rolled her freaking eyes on like a 360, okay? I didn't even know that you could do that. And she was like huffing and puffing like the wolf from the Three Little Pigs story. It was just ridiculous. Like, there was no need for that reaction. Like, yes, 
you know, I've spilled something, but I mean, I would have rather a person come and tell me, you know, that something was spilled so I could clean it up so no one would get hurt instead of just walking away or anything. But anyways, if, if I would have known she would have reacted that way, like, I wouldn't have even said anything, you know, I just would have walked out of Walmart and that's it. But that was just ridiculous. And, um, but right when I was telling that lady what was going on, like, it was, it was so embarrassing. Um, my godmother was coming at the fitting rooms and it, was, it made it so much more embarrassing. I was like, oh my goodness. But, um, yeah, that was quite something. I was not looking forward to that reaction or anything but now i know next time i spill something at walmart you know i won't even tell them like no but um yeah let me show you the things that i did buy that day okay so the first thing that i want to show you guys is a product that i want to do a review on i've seen it i've seen a lot of commercials on this and i can't wait to try it um i'm hoping this will be my skin tone but it might be i don't know i want to say that it might be a bit dark on my face but the like okay well let me show you the product first it's the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. I got this in the tone, um, W3. It's the tone, it has a tone to it. It has a name to it. Nude Beige. And, um, let me show it to you. Let me open it so I can show it to you. Okay, so it comes, when you first open it, it comes with a mirror. It has, like, you know, a, a sponge to it. And then you open this compartment. And it has the shape up there. And, um, you remove the sticker to open it. And that's the shape. And it looks very... It looks like a mousse, and um, I'm hoping this will be my skin tone. I don't know. Hopefully it will be. And I bought this, and the next thing that I bought was another foundation that I always wanted to try. It's L'Oreal as well. It's the Lumi Foundation, and um, I don't know. I feel like this might be light on my skin tone, for my skin tone, and it's um, W3 as well, and it's in the shade Nude Beige, and um, yeah, hopefully the skin tone will fit. I don't know. Um, it might be too light, or it might be too... I don't know. Um, so those are the two foundations that I bought and then the next thing that I bought is an eyeshadow. This eyeshadow was $6.97 and it's L'Oreal as well. It's the the um, infallible eyeshadow and this is in the skin in the, in the color Silver Sky. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like right there. Silver Sky and then you can see the color on the other side. I don't know if you can see it but you see how it sparkles right there. Um, and let me just swatch it for you. And and look at this color. I feel like I am going to love that. You see how pigmented that is? That is very nice. If I really like this eyeshadow, I will definitely go and buy some more because they have a lot more. Um, they have some more gorgeous shades. Um, and picked up. Well, well, let me let me back up a few. Um, yeah, one of the I wanted to try was this Pore Defense Primer Serum. And um, yeah, it says new, so I wanted to give this a try. And I have a lot of pores, and hopefully this will help. And, um, you know, if you take the top off, it has, like, a pump to it. And let me just spray, let me just pump this out. Okay, well, that's it. I don't know if you can see it, but it has, like, a, like a, like a green tone to it. Packaging, and on the bottle as well, it says oil-free, silicone-free, and alcohol-free. Um, it says it's a lightweight primer serum that instantly tightens your pores and smooths skin. So I definitely want that. You know, I want tighter pores and I want smoother skin. And, um, yeah. And that was basically it for my makeup haul. You know, if you guys like this video, please give it a like um, and subscribe as well. And um, hopefully I will have some new videos up for you guys. Um, I do have a couple of ideas. And then hopefully I can get started on them soon. And um, that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, you know. Dream big and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!